Jedi Jack Penguin, and today I'm bringing you another miniature review. So today I have a Lego Movie 2 poly bag, that being set number 30529, Mini Master Building Emmet. This set contains 49 pieces and retails for $3.99 in the US. I got this at my local Target store back in January, and I finally just got around to building it since this is a 3 in 1 set. The one thing that I think is just interesting about this though is that you only get instructions to build the first model, you don't get any instructions to build the other two. When this set first originally came out, there weren't any instructions for the other two models on LEGO.com, so I decided to wait a little bit longer to actually review this and then the Mini Master Building Metal Beard set as well, since the instructions finally just popped up on LEGO.com. I have them on my phone. I will be building all three models and taking a look at each one and seeing which one looks the best in my opinion. But for the sake of time, I'm not going to be doing any speed builds with each of these models. So let's just take a look at the bag and then we'll open it up and see what's inside. So right here we have the Lego and Lego Movie 2 logos right there on the front. Since this is a three in one set, we have all three models that you can build with the pieces that are included. We have the back of the poly bag, which has the LEGO logo set number and the name of the set in different languages, as well as the barcode, and then we have a Legoland advertisement as well. So yeah, that is all for the bag, so let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so here are all the pieces that are included within the set. We do get one minifigure of Emmett right there, which is not exclusive to the set though, since he does also come inside some other sets as well. We don't get too many interesting pieces in the set, a lot of common pieces. The only interesting pieces that I can spot in here is that we have two printed tile pieces, one by twos, in yellow with these black stripes printed on them, which is pretty cool. Pretty nice to get those. Otherwise, there really isn't anything much to talk about. We get some wheels since this is a construction vehicle, and we get a lot of yellow and some light and dark grays and blacks. So yeah, that's pretty much all for the pieces. So next, I'm going to build the first model, and then I'm going to build all of the other ones in sequence. Also, before I do that, I just want to show off the instructions. We do get this little link right here, which is to lego.com, which can show you the instructions to build the other models for the set, which are now active, as well as for the Mini Master Building Metal Beard, and also some of the other sets that we have multiple builds for, you can find them on that link. So yeah, let's build this up and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the first build that you get automatically when you buy this poly bag. This is what you get when you follow the instructions the first time. To get the other two models, you have to follow the website page and find their instructions. We do get four extra pieces with this build. We get a cheese slope in translucent white. We get an extra gray wheel piece. We get a translucent white stud and we get a dark gray serving hand piece right there. So those are our extra pieces. Before we take a look at this model, let's take a look at our minifigure of Emmett. Okay, so here is Emmett. There's nothing really too special about this character. He does come inside some of the other LEGO Movie 2 sets. Same printing on his legs and torso, just like the other Emmett characters. You can see that there's scratching on his printing right there since this character has aged up since the original LEGO Movie. Same blue arms, same yellow hands, same printing on the back of his torso right there, same hairpiece. This minifigure also includes two facial expressions, that first one, and then you can switch around his head, and then you can see the other facial expression right there. There is the other one where he's not that happy. So yeah, that is pretty much all for Emmett. As for the model that we got, I think it looks really nice and it's just definitely worth the play value. Since this is on wheels, it can go back and forth and it'll, it can also go in 360 directions since we have one of those spinny plates right there. It also has a very nice seat, so then you can sit Emmett down inside the vehicle. You also get a steering wheel there, pretty cool. Really like how that works. You also have some other posability right here with the arm of the vehicle. You can have that go up and down. You also have another way that it can go up and down and then you have the little hand which you can go in a 360 direction with that as well. Nice little digger that we got for Emmett right there. 
can also see that we have the printed tile pieces on both sides right there. Pretty cool, really like how that looks. And then we have the back right there with the lights and everything. So pretty much it's just a very nice little model for play features. And I just think it looks really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this first model. So let's take this apart and build up the second model and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the finished second model that you get within this polybag. We do get more extra pieces here. We get sort of like the similar amount of pieces right here. We just get the two dark grayish arm-like pieces right there, which are used on the robot-like characters. We also get one of those serving hand pieces in dark gray. We also get a cheese slope in trans white. We get a trans white stud, and then we get an extra one of those wheel pieces. So those are our extra pieces that are included. We already looked at Emmett, so let's take a quick look at the model. As for the model, we get a little car right here, which that's sort of like what this is. Very nice looking, really like how they used those clip pieces right here in the front and angled them down like that. And we also got some engines on the back, same lights right there. We have the steering wheel, we have a nice spot to put Emmett. We have the two one by two tile pieces with the prints on them right there on the front as well. We can put Emmett right there, nice and sitting down on the car. There we go, we got Emmett right there. And then of course, since this has wheels, it can go back and forth and go wherever you want it to go right there. So yeah, that is pretty much all for the second build. So let's take a look at the last one. Okay, so here is the last model that we get within this poly bag. This is the third build. We get some more extra pieces here, the same extra pieces that we've been getting for the past two models, as well as all of the other wheels right there. You can see we have all four of the wheels have been taken off to make this little mech right here, which sort of looks similar to, say, another set that I'm going to be reviewing some other time. but. Let's just get back to this video right here. So we have already looked at Emmett and the extra pieces, so let's take a better look at this mech right here. Okay, so here is the mech that we get within the set. It has a lot of posability to it as well. We get the legs movements right here. They can move back and forth. Both of them can do that. You also get some movement with the feet, so if you want the feet to move differently, you can have the feet move differently. As well as the arms, those can go back and forth, as well as the hands, that can go in a 360 direction in a certain way. Both sides of that. We also have a nice spot for us to put our Emmett minifigure, so then you can sit him down right in front of that steering wheel, just like all of the other little models that we make. You can put Emmett right there. I feel like the arms and the legs are a little bit small for the body, but you know, I think that it looks pretty nice. And I also just think it's annoying that they didn't even use the spinny plate inside any of these. They just left it just there, just so then it looked like something. But you know, we have the engines on the back and the light and the steering wheel at the front. We have both of the printed one by two tile pieces on either side of him. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this little build. So overall, I think it's interesting that LEGO didn't include the other instructions for the other models inside this set, and waited another month to actually release them on their website, which I thought was annoying. So that's why I reviewed them now and not when I actually got them. Otherwise, it's a nice cheap way to get a Emmett minifigure, though there are other poly bags that do contain other exclusive versions that don't come inside the normal sets. This is a nice way to get the normal Emmett minifigure, you also get a nice collection of pieces, two nice printed pieces that are pretty much the same, and you get three different models that you can play around with and rebuild and disassemble. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!